Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges, my name is Nathan and we're back with another Total War Saga Troy video. A Total War Saga Troy launched on the 13th of August 2020. And while there were some initial concerns from the Total War fanbase considering that firstly, a Total War Saga Troy is a saga title where the first saga title Thrones of Britannia was not initially received so well and secondly for the first year of its release a Total War Saga Troy would be an epic exclusive. I must admit even I didn't plan on covering this game on the channel until I had a decent amount of time playing it. The game itself has surpassed expectations, not only for myself as a content producer and a fan of the Total War series, but for the greater gaming community. It has been revealed by Creative Assembly that over a million downloads of this game had been done only just an hour after it had launched on the Epic Game Store. For context, it is known that Total War Free Kingdoms, one of the, if not the best-selling Total War game in the franchise, as it is confirmed that it sold over a million copies within the first week of launch. Obviously, the exclusivity deal between Creative Assembly and Epic Games has worked rather nicely, and it has the potential to introduce a lot of new people to the Total War series of games. So if you're watching this video and you've always been interested in trying out the Total War series, since posting this video there are less than 24 hours that you can get a Total War Saga for Troy completely free. But with that being said, I feel like now we can look towards the future of this title, as Creative Assembly have released a roadmap detailing what they plan to do for the next few coming months. On September 2020, we'll see the release of the first official DLC pack which introduces the Amazons as a playable faction. This is a skirmishing, cavalry focused faction which introduces two new epic heroes. The great thing about this DLC is that it has been confirmed the Amazons will also be free as from launch. All you have to do prior to this is link your Total War Access account to your Epic Game Store account. And perhaps the biggest news for September is the accessibility for full mod support. Anyone familiar with the Total War franchise of games will know that modding has always been a huge aspect of the community. New units, factions, mechanics and even games have been created from the use of these modding tools. On October we'll see the introduction of the Blood and Glory DLC, which is your basic Blood Pack aesthetic DLC. Nothing too special there, but you know, people do rather enjoy it. But also the introduction of an FLC for the goddess Artemis, who is the Greek goddess of the hunt, wilderness, wild animals, the moon and chastity. This brings me hope that the divine will mechanic will be expanded upon and eventually we'll see many more Greek gods and goddesses added to this. November will see the launch of multiplayer. Honestly, I'm rather disappointed that Troy has not received a multiplayer launch from the very beginning and instead is getting it three months down the line. Maybe this delay has something to do with the apparent rumors that Creative Assembly are trying to experiment with possible cross-platform compatibility. But until we hear something about that, I can't really be sure. And during winter, we'll see a release of a DLC between Ajax and Diomedes. No information is currently known about this DLC, which makes a lot of sense as there's still a decent amount of months before we actually get here. But also launching alongside this is another FLC, introducing Hephaestus, the Greek god of fire, metalworking, stone masonry, forges and the art of sculpture. It looks like Creative Assembly have a lot of high hopes for a Total War Saga Troy. Unlike Thrones of Britannia, which only received one DLC, that of the Blood Pack, it's very clear here that Creative Assembly have a lot planned for Troy, and there might be a lot more planned that we don't even know of yet. Which for me is safe to say, it has redeemed the Saga series in my eyes if this is the plan going forward. If the game is going to receive constant support and new content, I'm all for it. Just a quick heads up, if you can still get the game for free and you haven't been too sure about Troy, I do recommend you do so. The game is indeed very playable and I'm having a lot of fun with it, so I can highly recommend it. I and many other Total War YouTubers have been giving it praise through the form of live streams and reviews. And as always, it is free, so you might as well take advantage of that. But with that, my friends, we come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like, or even subscribing to the channel, as it really does help us out. 
In the description section below are various different social media links such as Facebook, Instagram and Discord where you can get in contact with a great book team. Also in the description section is an affiliate link with Element Games where you could buy loads of hobby based products not just Warhammer for 10 to 25% off. Using our special link and also our special code, both of which can be found in our description, supports the channel at no extra cost to you, which we think is rather cool. A big thank you to our patrons, your support means the world to us, it's amazing that people want to help a small channel like us grow and get to a higher level of content. A special thank you to Gibraltar LUSC, Ryan Birch, Andrew Pence and Okro for subscribing to us at our fame level, you guys are super cool. And a big thank you to Edward Huell and VS Vasan for subscribing to us at our fame level. Honestly, I can't thank you guys enough for the support, it really means a lot to me, especially since all the money earned from Patreon goes directly back onto the channel. New webcam, equipment, microphones and so on. And a big thank you to all of you liking, sharing, commenting on these videos. Honestly, I'm really enjoying creating this content and chatting to all of you guys about speculation, new content and so on. It's absolutely awesome. It's been nice to make a few friends along the way. But with that, my friends, thank you so much for watching once again and I shall see you all again very, very soon. Have a good day.